It's now been one year since the US state of Colorado launched the world's first market for recreational marijuana, sparking mass controversy. The cannabis you can buy in Colorado and Washington is regulated and taxed. It's thought sales of the drug could have reached $400 million in 2014. You can now buy food products such as Dixie Rolls, white chocolate, peppermint and truffles, all containing marijuana, which some claim has helped boost the local economy. Our real estate is booming right now, 5 million square feet of commercial uh, uh, lease space. That's the estimates that we're seeing that this industry has had. You know, imagine if that was vacant property. But critics argue the sale of the drug could lead to long-term addiction and have negative health effects. The societal costs are far greater. The industry themselves get wealthy. They make a lot of money. But the burden falls on families, falls on employers, falls on our healthcare system, falls on our school. As the industry continues to grow with increasing competition from medical marijuana and the black market, it's unclear if it will all go to pot.